Westbrook here at AWS Marketplace Seller Conference with GeekWire Studios, and I'm joined by Krithika Balagurunathan. She is the Senior Director of Product at ClickHouse. First of all, Krithika, if you'd be so kind as to tell us about ClickHouse and what you bring to the table. Sure. ClickHouse is an open source, column-oriented, distributed analytical database, and it's been in the open source for over a decade, and claim to fame for the product has been its speed, performance, and the unmatched storage efficiency, where we see customers see about 98% compression rates. This leads to overall cost efficiency when they're running analytics at massive scale. And really where we come in, there's just the broad adoption of use cases for ClickHouse. The four prevalent use cases are real-time analytics. This is the origin story of ClickHouse, really being able to serve real-time insights on large volumes of data. We have customers like Cloudflare, Brace, HubSpot, ingesting millions and billions of events and building user-facing dashboards and API. And the second is this category of data warehousing, um, the business intelligence users that want to use their favorite BI tool, Tableau, QuickSight, uh, being able to use a scalable database for your dashboarding and reporting needs. That's where come, the ClickHouse comes in. The other use case category is observability, and this is broad in its own sense, where you have logs, metrics, and traces. So we have companies across the spectrum, startups launching a full stack observability solution on top of ClickHouse, as well as large enterprises like Netflix and Uber, centralizing all of their monitoring on ClickHouse. And last but certainly not the least is the fast evolving Gen AI and ML category, where we see a bunch of adoption across the spectrum with use of ClickHouse as a feature store, a vector store, as a backend to an MCP server, in data exploration and other ML pipeline requirements that data engineers have. Lots of great stuff, a lot of great growth for ClickHouse since the origin. How has AWS Marketplace helped you even accelerate that growth further? When we launched the product in December of 2022, being the only commercial angle for us as a business, it was crucial to ensure that the procurement channels are streamlined, so we offer both direct and through the marketplace. And uh, having a small sales team, trying to figure out a go to market momentum, we realized the marketplace is the right way to launch, and that in itself has an outsized ROI when we compare and contrast the results to our direct sign-up route, where we've seen incredibly high rate of conversions retentions and expansions, as well as uh, the va value add that we've seen is users coming in through the marketplace convert at a much faster pace, half the time that a direct, uh, direct sign up takes. Now, Marketplace has a lot of tools for you to reach your customer and to sell your products. What are some of the tools that you as a team really gravitate towards? Is it free trials? Is it private offers? What, what are the tools that really resonate with your team? All of those, uh, in fact, uh, the free trial experience has led to a lot more organic traffic. The minute we had the badge on, mm -hmm. we saw that there was a more uptick in the signups that came through that channel. And the sell, sell a private offer has been a very effective channel. Uh, overall, most of our customers ask for some customization yeah. in their contracting process. And uh, marketplaces being already integrated within their procurement workflow, they prefer that route. And with this smaller adjustments that they expect they, we are able to streamline those uh, sales cycles and it's a lot more faster and shorter in comparison to our direct contracting process which goes through a lot of redlining, redlining and back and forth with legal. I love that. You and I, Krithika, were just inside the keynote here at AWS Marketplace Seller Conference and you talked a lot about your customers and really focused on some of the key experience that they're having. Could you give us a success story or two of how your customers have used the product that you've made available through Marketplace? Absolutely. Uh, several of our customers start self-managed in the open source first, and they then they figure out maybe cloud is a better path for them because they're able to offload sure. their operational overhead. A good example that comes to mind is Twilio. Uh, Quick, uh, Twilio has been a longtime user of ClickHouse in the open source, and they have variety of different use cases that they use internally for observability for their in-house analytics. And when one of the teams actually realized some of the architectural benefits that the cloud native architecture gave them, they realized that that would be a better alternative for them. And the, the process of procurement, procurement 
procuring through the marketplaces made, made the transaction process a lot more easier. And once that team migrated over, we saw that they became advocates for other teams that were using ClickHouse. And given that we already had a set workflow with marketplaces, we were able to onboard the other teams and their use cases onto ClickHouse Cloud. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to expanding your partnership, tools you're looking to take advantage of even further in AWS Marketplace? As we expand our distribution channel, we have a new offering called Bring Your Own Cloud, which gives users the ability to deploy their analytical applications in their own VPC, primarily for reasons such as data residency, they need stricter controls over where their data lives. Uh, in that specific use case, right now, it's a manual setup process. It takes about an hour to complete. And what I'm excited is to leverage the quick launch offering that AWS has through the marketplace that will further streamline and get the user set up quickly. As director of product, you're working very closely with the marketplace team. How has the AWS marketplace team helped you in your journey to sell on the, on the platform? They've been amazing partners. We have a geographically distributed sales team and they've brought in um, the teams on relevant engagements, especially when there's co-sell opportunity, trying to bring in ClickHouse early so we're partnering in the vetting process, trying to figure out the right sizing, the right architectural model, and helping them with hands-on guidance on how do you architect better with AWS and ClickHouse has been very, very important in landing some big wins, and not just in the Americas, but globally as well. For those of you that are watching, uh, do you have any advice to the next generation of AWS Marketplace sellers? How would you recommend they get started? You've been on the platform for the last couple of years. What would you say, what advice would you give? Our sales motion is primarily all product-led, and uh, if your business is going that same direction, I would encourage or recommend that everyone think about Marketplace as an integral part of your launch strategy, not something that comes in as an afterthought for your procurement. It's such an important avenue, especially when you're looking for high intent conversions, especially when you have trial to paid conversions that you're monetizing. That becomes a crucial channel and streamlining the processes there early on helps you land not just enterprises, but more startups that continue to stay on the platform. I love that. Now, Krithika, before I let you go, is there anything I didn't ask you? What did, what did we not talk about today that you really want to share? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, really, the industry is trending more towards product-led growth and having a fully enriched self-serve experience is crucial to meeting your buyers where they are. We no longer see in our sales cycles and engagements where a CIO or a CEO is part of the tech evaluation process. It's ultimately the developers. So the product, speaking the language that they understand, meeting them where they are, giving them the tools to be enabled on their own is crucial. And the procurement and other aspects is equally important, but getting that experience right all in a single place is crucial to landing a good growth strategy with product-led. I love that, and certainly product-led growth is something we're going to be talking a lot about in the weeks and months to come. Thank you so much, Krithika Balu Gurunathan, the Senior Director of Product at ClickHouse. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. We are here at the AWS Marketplace Seller Conference.